A snake big enough to swallow an entire crocodile? A crocodile that's big enough to swallow a shark? And a camel the size of an elephant? Don't swipe or click away, because here are the top 10 biggest animals to ever exist. Number 10. Blue Whale You might not have known this, but the blue whale is not only the biggest animal in existence, it's the biggest animal ever. No animal in history could ever come close to the blue whale when it came to size. And let's just be thankful that the blue whale is not actually a predator. The average length of these gigantic behemoths is between 80 and 100 feet, which is roughly the same size as three yellow school buses lined up one in front of the other. The weight? Well, on average, you're looking at about 220 tons, which, funnily enough, is also the average weight of a locomotive. To give you a little comparison, the blue whale is so big that its tongue is the same weight as an elephant. The tongue isn't the only thing that's giant, these bad boys have a heart that's the same weight as an adult lion. That's a 400 pounds blood pumping machine. But unlike a human heart, the whale's heart only beats twice per minute. And just to feed one of these, you'll need about 4 tons of krill. That's about 40 million of these little crustaceans getting devoured every single day. The blue whale's lifespan is between 80 and 90 years, but they're fighting against extinction anyways. Hunting has been their main threat, and currently they're protected by law in most parts of the world, which means whale fishing is a big no-no. Number 9. Argentinosaurus If the blue whale was the largest animal of the sea and land, the Argentinosaurus is the largest animal of the land. Where did it live? Well, we think the name gave that away. It was a sauropod dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous period, more precisely between 96 and 92 million years ago. Based on some of the partial remains that they discovered, it's believed that these prehistoric giants reached a length of 130 feet and would weigh about 100 tons. And speaking of bones, we should tell you that the first ones were discovered in 1987 by a farmer after finding the single bone, Jose Bonaparte, a paleontologist, conducted excavation work in the region. In just two short years after the discovery, they found numerous vertebrae, a sacrum, and a femur, or a thigh bone. Here is a man standing in front of one of the vertebrae they uncovered. From all of these remains, they were able to discover just how big the Argentinosaurus is, and they've even made calculations about its running speed, which came up to 5 miles per hour. Number 8. Paraceratherium It's a rhino, it's an elephant, it's… it's a paraceratherium. Yeah, try saying that three times in a row. Anyways, this mammal lived during the Oligocene period about 34 to 23 million years ago and it's probably one of the largest land mammals to have ever smashed that live button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they were the largest mammals to have roamed the earth. Fossilized remains were found in Pakistan as well as Eurasia and the Balkans. Now, even though we have a rough estimate of how big this animal was, the incomplete skeletal remains leave a little ambiguity surrounding the Paraceratherium. If measured at the shoulders, this mammal was about 15.7 feet, it was 24 feet long, and it had a weight that measured between 15 and 20 tons. Just the skull of this thing was 4.3 feet long, so we can safely say that we're dealing with a big creature. From the form of its skull, we know that the Paraceratherium was a browser. No, not Google Chrome, the animal kind. You know, the ones that eat leaves and soft plants and shrubs. Number 7. Supersaurus The Supersaurus is often confused with the Argentinosaurus, and we get it. They're both dinosaurs that have long necks and large bodies, but the difference is that this dinosaur lived in North America during the late Jurassic period. When talking about the size, we have to say that the length estimates are around 130 feet, while the weight of the Supersaurus is about 31.8 to 36 tons. The fossilized bones that led to the discovery of the Supersaurus were unearthed back in 1972. However, it took scientists about a decade to describe and name this beast. And a little while later, James A. Jensen discovered that there was another gigantic sauropod that came from the Supersaurus. So he named it Ultrasaurus Macintosh. Is that a transformer we haven't heard about? Number 6. Syrian Camel Everyone, this is the camel that was about 10 feet tall when measured at the shoulder height, but overall it was a 13-foot tall animal. Based on the fossils that were discovered in 2005, it's believed that the Syrian camels that lived in the Syrian desert roamed the earth some 100,000 years ago. And you want to know what's really interesting? The remains that were uncovered revealed Paleolithic human remains right next to it. Looks like camels and humans have worked together for thousands of years. Number 5. Griffin Flies 
Griffinflies might be small compared to the blue whale, but if you compare them to dragonflies, then these things look like giants. Can you imagine ever finding a 28-inch bug coming straight at you? Well, you don't have to imagine it, griffinflies were real. But the only thing that scientists couldn't agree on is how they drew in oxygen from the air. The tracheal breathing system stops insects from growing too big, and the fact that the griffinflies actually existed is a miracle. But don't be alarmed, the 20% oxygen in our atmosphere today is not nearly enough to sustain these 30-foot insects. Thank goodness! Number 4. Dinosuchus Living between 82 and 72 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, the Dinosuchus was a species of crocodile unlike any other. This was because the fossilized remains discovered pointed out to an alligator that's 35 feet 10.6 meters. States like Utah, Montana, Alabama, and Texas have talked about uncovering fossilized remains of Dinosuchus. This animal lived to be about 8.5 tons and had 22 short, rounded, and blunt teeth, which indicates that the Dinosuchus liked to crush its prey to death. Top 3 Number 3. The Meg Take a look at this picture. What do you see? The two white teeth belong to a great white, while the big black chunk of coal is actually a megalodon tooth. The Meg is the biggest shark that has ever roamed this earth, and here's a picture of a man sitting inside the mouth of this beast. It's said that this giant jaw could exert a force of up to 182,000 newtons. Now compare that with a human's bite force of only 1,300 newtons. Even though some people still believe that Meg is alive and roaming the seas today, we're not going to be getting into the conspiracy theory arena. We're just gonna say that they lived in the early Miocene and early Pliocene period, which is between 23 and 3.6 million years ago. It's believed that it was between 47 and 67 feet, 14 to 20 meters long, and had a weight of almost 34 tons. At this size, it was estimated that the Megalodon could swim at a speed of 11 miles per hour based on the speed of other aquatic creatures of the same size. Number 2. Mosasaurus What's a Mosasaurus? It's a crocodile-like creature that was perfectly depicted in the 2015 Jurassic World movie. That's the one that created tidal waves in the water tank after swallowing an entire shark in one bite. The powerfully intimidating Mosasaurus lived in the Campanian and Maastrichtian stages, which is between 82.7 and 66 million years ago. After discovering fossilized skulls of this creature and analyzing them, it's thought that the max length of the Mosasaurus was about 56 feet. It had very powerful jaws and its extremities had webbing between the bones. The tail was flat, which helped it navigate the waters with ease. Number 1. Titanoboa this is a photo of a life-sized titanoboa. The thing you see trying to wiggle itself free is a crocodile. That's right, the titanoboa was so big, it could actually swallow an entire crocodile without a problem. And if you ever go to Grand Central Terminal in Manhattan, New York City, then you'll see this full-scale model replica that was built back in March of 2012. The giant snake is considered to have lived in the mid-late Paleocene period, which is about 60 to 58 million years ago, archaeologists found a giant dorsal vertebra in Colombia in the Cerrejon Formation. The snake is believed to have been about 50 feet long and reached a weight of 2,500 pounds. For comparison, the average weight of an anaconda is only 550 pounds, which means that you'd need five anacondas to make one titanoboa. Now, even though this was an apex predator that lived in South America and shared habitats with crocodiles and turtles, it didn't care about eating other animals. After studying the jaw of the snake and the position of its teeth, scientists have discovered that this apex predator was actually piscivores, meaning it only ate fish. And did you know that the size of the titanoboa helped scientists determine the climate in that region, which is assumed to have been warmer than 90 Fahrenheit? And we would just like to say that we're thankful the titanoboa went extinct. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the next one. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon.